Welcome to a three minute army primer for the new kids on the block. Bored with the lackluster normal orc lore, they went off into the dimension of pain or something and emerged tougher, meaner and completely stormcast. I mean, sorry, lightning clad. It's the Riftforged Orcs. Riftforged Orcs are so new that not many people have really gotten to grips with how they play. They're certainly markedly different from normal Orcs and have an element of fast flying assault troops mixed with really interesting characters and those signature massive base large infantry hordes we all know and love. So how do they match up to our list archetypes? The answer unfortunately is not terribly well. So there's no doubt Rift Forge Orcs can pull off a combination of flyer, heavy, alpha, strike. They've got great flying characters, quasi-dracons, and a wild charge aura formation that makes gore riders and fight wagons even more in your face than they were before. Whether it works at lower points levels has yet to be explored, but it's certainly one to be considered. And there, after more than 20 army reviews, my archetype listing rather falls apart. There's definitely elements of Riftforged Orcs that grind. Just take a look at those big Legionnaire hordes, but there's no heal or regen to back it up and they're so expensive you're not going to really flood the table. Likewise there are a number of significant hammer elements, but not so much that your whole list is a hammer. I have to be honest, I am stumped how to categorise them, but we'll come onto that in a bit. However, there's no doubt in my mind when it comes to their best units. The Stormbringer and Hellstrike Manticore is A, a brilliant model, and B, a fantastic unit to bring to the battlefield. Cheap enough you don't mind throwing it away, and punchy enough that no one can ignore it wellying down the side of the battlefield to harangue your flanks, they're a brilliant punchy striking piece. The Shrine is up there with the Ratkin Tangle for best support piece in the game. Its aura of fury combined with the ability to chain together Bane Chance and Host Shadow Beast so long as you can keep rolling fours is sporadically brilliant but always a threat. It's a great centerpiece for the army, only occasionally ruined by people hexing it to snot just for giggles. I don't usually choose rank and file for a best unit slot but there's no denying the Rift Forge Legionnaires are right in a sweet spot. Big nerve, Big attacks, defense 5, and hitting on 3s is oh so lovely in or out of the formation. An honorable mention goes to the Thunder Seers. While they're not quite always the devastating beak stick they could be thanks to their 4 plus melee stat, the ability to redeploy at will, innate Pathfinder which is twice as powerful now the Caterpillar Potion is gone, and Spell Ward means they're a mobile blender on legs that forms a great second wave once people have chewed through your first line of more expendable green monstrosities. Some of the issues with Reforge Orcs is they don't appear to do any one thing brilliantly. They do lots of stuff quite well, a few things quite badly, for reference shooting, and it doesn't quite mesh together until you get over 2,500 points which isn't seen very often. That said, it's so new in the meta, if you'll forgive the term, it could just be that we haven't seen the forces fully unlock potential yet. Rift Forge Orcs have so many great pieces, I honestly think the only reason they're not seen more often right now is people haven't quite worked out the secret formula for greatness. They're honestly unlike any army out there, with a fantastic series of individual pieces that's screaming out for some enterprising general to come up with something quite literally and metaphorically evil to wipe the enemy from the table. That said, they're still getting a 4 out of 5 for newbie difficulty rating.